Hey everyone, so this is my review of The Flash Season 3, Episode 20, called I Know Who You Are. And basically what this episode's about is that the team must go and try and track down the scientist that may be the key to stopping Savitar. And while doing that, they come into contact with Killer Frost and have to fight her. And this was a really interesting episode that was really entertaining to watch and see like how everything turned out. And I really am just going to say it right off the bat and right now. I am not all that happy about who they decide to make Savitar because I was really hoping that it would be someone like sort of outside of the main sort of six people but like every other season it's been one of them who ends up somehow turning evil and ends up being the bad guy and I just really wanted it to be someone new that we could like get to know and understand why they became the villain but it's just someone within the group that eventually in the future becomes Avatar, and I just don't like that. And yes, it's kind of interesting, and yes, it's like one of the top two people that I had probably being Avatar. But still, it's just, I didn't want it to turn out that way. It just, I wanted someone new to be the villain. And I really like the character of Tracy and how she was portrayed in this episode, with her being a bit of a nervous wreck that has basically given up on all her research and science that she's done on the Speed Force without really realizing it being about the Speed Force. And just all that was interesting with them like sort of training her up and like making her believe in herself again and just all that and I kinda can't wait to see what else they're gonna do with her as a character. And then I really like the fact that they had like this bit of an interest between Tracy and HR and I'm curious to see where that's gonna go and I kind of like it to see like these two people who's one's a fake scientist and one's a real scientist and I kind of can't wait to see what's gonna happen when the truth might come out of who HR actually is because I still don't know if he's actually still wearing like that cloaking device he had on where no one could see that he's actually Harrison Wells because of the fact of his cloaking device and then with that I'm wondering who actually knows what he looks like and who doesn't because I'm pretty sure they haven't shown Julian that he's actually um, Harrison Wells and like all that stuff of I forget if they completely kind of forgotten about this cloaking device that he's supposed to be having or not. And then actually Tracy's whole plan of how to capture Savitar is pretty interesting and kind of genius and fairly understandable too where um, she wants to do it by like using Savitar's own sort of like static energy that he creates when he runs and somehow like use that to trap him within, within the speed force and that sounds really interesting and really kind of cool and I want to see how they eventually play that out if they do make that happen. And then Sisko being somewhat of afraid of hurting Caitlyn slash Killer Frost was very interesting but it really kind of felt like it came out of nowhere when he started talking about like not being able to control his powers and stuff because yes I understand that he can't control his powers as much as he like can at certain points in the comics but I feel like he's more in control of his powers than he believes so that kind of felt out of nowhere where he just suddenly was like I don't know how to use my powers and stuff and just that felt really kind of off to me. And then I really like the fact of what they kind of did or kind of teased in this episode with Killer Frost with her actually attempting to try and live up to the name by actually going and trying to kill Tracy. And then Joe actually going and telling Cecile the truth about what he actually does was a very interesting sort of subplot that I kind of liked because I kind of like Joe finally like being happy with someone outside of his family and just overall this was a really entertaining and really great episode and I'm so curious to see where they're gonna go from here so yeah that's my review of The Flash season 3 episode 20 called I Know Who You Are so yeah bye